Welcome back to the Midyear Mitch YouTube channel. Today's episode, we're starting to fix the mangled bird cage for the field find split and make it look like a car again. So be sure to stick around. Also, if you're new to the YouTube channel, please hit that like and subscribe button. It really helps my channel. So I have the cow and the rear portion kind of sitting in the jig. We worked on tweaking it a little bit because I don't know if you can tell by looking at the front that it's still tweaked a good bit. This side's low, that side's high, or this side's right and that side's just high. That's also very kinked right here, so this whole thing is going inward. So now I'm gonna work on trying to get this straightened out just a little bit. I'm gonna replace it, but I need to fix little damaged kinks like this, work around the edge, try to pull some of this out because I think this piece is affecting this piece which is affecting that one. So if I can get everything kind of in the area where it needs to be, it's a lot easier to fix. If it's pretty close, I can start to fit up windshield pieces, set in my windshield jig, and then we can actually get everything kind of jigged up and then I can work on replacing the panels that need to be replaced and removing the bonding strips. So I ground off the bonding adhesive, that way I could expose the pop rivets to take all these bonding strips off so I can get under here and remove the spot welds to take off this corner from this corner of the windshield. Start to tweak everything a little more that eventually I'm gonna have to take off this corner because this, this is really Swiss cheesy. So I got the passenger side rocker off. Wasn't too bad and I really didn't mangle up the steel so I'm happy about that. So now I need to make that section down here when this car was wrecked. This rocker was literally ripped off of the... So I'm really happy, got the rocker off in one piece. I really hate removing spot welds. That's like, I don't know, the bane of my existence. But luckily, these all came out pretty nice. I really didn't mangle up any of the metal, just have to do a little bit of straightening. What a day for a daydream. What a day for a daydreaming boy. And I'm lost in my daydream. Dreaming about my bundle of joy And even if time ain't really on my side It's one of those days we're taking a walk outside I'm blowing the day to take a walk in the sun I fall my face on somebody's new mode on I've been having a sweet dream I've been dreaming since I woke up today Starring me and my so I was working on the passenger side over here. I have this replacement piece 
that I decided to splice in. Normally, I really don't like to splice. I like to try to use the spot welds like they did originally, but on the red piece that was on here, the understructure is pretty much gone and it goes into the next piece. There would have been a seam here. There would be a next piece and this one would continue. And on this one, the understructure is really nice. So I decided just to splice it here so it won't have to repair this piece and this piece. I'll probably fix this for a future project. So I spliced this piece in, trimmed a little off the bottom here, and this pillar's lining up pretty good. It's lining up pretty decent with the windshield jig. A sweet dream. Cause she's the one that makes me feel this way. And even the time is passing me by a lie. I couldn't care less about the dude you say, oh guy. Tomorrow I'll pay the dudes for dropping my load. Upon the face of being a lazy buto. You can be sure that if you're feeling right, a daydream will last a long into the night. I'm actually really surprised with how well this door fits on this side. It did have to move this pillar forward a little bit and I have some tweaking to do in this roof area. So now I'm gonna end up cutting off this top part because it's really rusty. So I think this understructure is bent. So I think I can clamp it in place and kind of pull on it to bring this edge down to here and kind of manipulate it where it needs to be. But this gap is looking pretty good. Like I said, it's a little wide here, but I think there's some manipulating I can do. But the good thing is, I also have the striker and latch in place and it latches. I think I only get one click since this pillar is really not super solid. And then the same on this side. This side fits really nice. So this is where I'm gonna finish off the video, but we have the cow welded on here. So the, since this side was torn off, I had to make this front plate here and the one that goes on the back to tie the hinge pillar into the rocker, made those pieces. So I've rosette welded or plug welded in a bunch of spots, need to clean up a couple welds. Um, but it should be nice and solid. I'll do the same thing to the back in the next video. Once that's kind of finished and straightened out, make some more patches for the front. But you can see we took out a lot of twists in the birdcage. This thing was like a pretzel almost. And one really cool thing about the jig, which most of it's apart right now, but the jig isn't just to get everything positioned where I think it needs to be and weld it blindly. It's kind of like a frame table. So I was able to use the jig to straighten out the pieces that were bent to figure out where the twist is. And the really nice thing is that it gives you an area to hold because the birdcage is just kind of floppy whenever it's cut in half. So the jig allowed me to hold, like say if I wanted to twist this part back here, I could hold it right here and twist it or I could put the door bars in to twist on one part or it was just really nice to be able to have that versatility. So that definitely saved a lot of time and a lot of head scratching. So this cage is gonna come out nice. You can see that the gaps 
are looking nice and uniform. And this, is, this cage is gonna be really good whenever it's done. So a couple more days and this thing should be ready to go. But that's gonna do it for this video. If you enjoyed, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. This was the first part in fixing the bird cage. We probably have two or three more parts to actually get this bird cage finished and then get started on the next one. So I got a lot of work to do. I'll catch you guys later. And then we're gonna get started on that guy.